Thanks for tuning in. So today I'm talking about why the narc lurks. The reason you're, the narcissist is lurking, trying to figure out what you're doing is because a few things, but one, they're bored. They get bored easily. That's one of the reasons why they played the games with you, why they were always trying to make you question your reality, why they were always trying to trigger you to get some type of emotional outburst from you to make you look crazy or to make you um, start justifying why you did this versus doing that. They were always trying to make you explain yourself to them. They get this sense of power. It's like something really spectacular for them. They feel alive when that happens. Like for instance, you may feel alive if you're with someone you like and you're having a good time. If you like roller coasters, you may get the high from that or bungee jumping or just doing some type of work you like. They, on the other hand, feel so numb and dead inside. They don't get that high. So they want to lurk. It's, let's say if you've um, already gone no contact, you've already cut these people off, they're all lurking around you to see, hey, maybe I can get that high again. They want to see, are you still as gullible as you used to be? Meaning that if they come and give you some new um, story of, um, oh, how life is bad for them. They lost this. They lost their job due to COVID. They're sick due to the COVID vaccine. They want to know, are you this same empathetic person that's running like, oh my God, can I um, help you? Can I give you some money um, because you're not working? Can I pay some bills for you? Can I watch your kids? You know, they're looking for you to be that old person that you used to be overly giving and nourishing, which is nothing wrong with that it's only something wrong with it let me clarify if you're giving all your goodness to people who don't deserve it meaning they take advantage of you they're not appreciative that's when it the giving within us becomes a bad thing and we need to watch that and set boundaries around it and give to the people who are actually appreciative and deserving but yeah so they want to see are you gullible are you going to come around and tell me how how the best i am how my hair is the best and you just love the way i dress and you just love the earrings i do you just love the way my barber the barber fixes my hair and does my tuxedos you know because if you're a nice giving person you may be nice and giving with compliments and the narcissist this is the reasons why they loved you and the reasons why they hated you and grew jealous of you because they don't have those type of natural good feelings they in order and they trick us by making us think they're like us giving and nurturing and um, um giving compliments but really what they do is just for years and years they watch other people's emotions of goodness and they copy those because it's not naturally within them so they're great chameleons great actors great actresses so yeah they want to know mm, can I, can I get them to be my free Uber driver? Can I get them to take me all over? Maybe they're still dumb because in their mind, that when they took advantage of their victims, they, they were like, oh, oh, they made it okay in their mind. Like, well, this person shouldn't be stupid because if they weren't so stupid, I wouldn't do this to them. And because they're stupid, this needs to happen. So really, I'm just doing them a favor because I'm trying to teach them that life isn't all good like they think it is, they're naive, so I'm trying to help them, and plus I'm better than them, they're dumb, they're allowing people to walk all over them like a wet doormat, so this needs to happen, and I'm really like a savior, a good person in their life, trying to teach them, hey, grow up, boo, stop being stupid, stop being needy, stop letting me think I'm better than you, so that's some of the reasons, another thing, like I said, they're jealous of you, it may not be, and I used to think that it was only because of money, the reason people would be jealous. No, maybe you have a nice smile. Maybe you have nice hair. Maybe you have good characteristics about yourself, and they hate that because they have to fake and be an actor and actresses to get theirs. And so they're like, oh my God, why do people naturally like her? She don't even have to put on a show for people to like her. Why are people drawn to her or him? I can't stand it. And the thing with jealousy is like you cannot fix this. You cannot repair a jealous relationship because it's one of the worst, you know. It's the first, um, one of the reasons that the first murder happened. Look at Cain and Abel. Cain was jealous because Abel offered up a better gift, so he killed him. And a narcissist, some narcissists have killed. 
you know and then some narcissists will also kill but kill with their words they'll tell people you're crazy oh something's wrong with you oh my gosh you can't be trusted she's such a liar she does this and this she's mental all these kind of things and they were saying it before you discarded them or um they discarded you but they just go on and on with all this stuff because they're jealous they want something you have maybe you got a good career maybe you're a good parent maybe you're some kind of good artist or whatever it is you are and they don't have that maybe you're getting more money than them they don't like that so they want to um lurk around you to see hmm watching watching your social media or they also have their flying monkeys the one who d does their bidding knows the narcissist is wrong but they don't care they'll still follow you and report back to the narcissist oh they oh, oh someone so posted on facebook she lost their job and the narcissist is happy like oh my god yeah they're losing in life that's why they're lurking to see are you doing bad and they're also comparing themselves with you like oh my god if you post on um ig a new picture of your family they're looking at your daughter versus their daughter and seeing oh my daughter is thinner oh my daughter has um longer hair oh my daughter is looks like she has on more lotion than your daughter you know they're not saying this to you but this is the stuff that they're doing behind the scenes you know and of course nobody wants to admit that they're jealous of anybody so i don't know you know they try to make it seem like they, it's all hate towards you because who's going to say oh my god i feel this jealousy it's better to say oh i hate them and they did something wrong to deserve it versus oh i'm just jealous so yeah so they they do all this kind of stuff another thing oh if you have not already done so please subscribe like this video and share it to your social media because there may be other people who like this once I get to that 1,000 um, subscribers, I am giving away two free 60-minute sessions, and I'll figure out how I'm going to do that. I, I guess whoever um, emails me first after I reach over that 1,000, and then we're going to do that. So please like, subscribe, and share. Back to the video, why I do the narcs alert. So yeah, they also, um, they want revenge on you, especially if you're the ones who left them. They're thinking that they're better than you. So the nerve of you to start loving yourself and putting yourself first, practicing self-care where you're taking care of your needs and not thinking about them first. So they're like, oh my God, I'm better than this person. I dare them leave me. I must destroy them. I must slander them. I must make sure they pay. So they try to get lurking to hoping to see if there's a way to get you back. Did you just have a death in the family? Is there a holiday? They probably think you're lonely around this time. They're trying to slither their way like the snakes they are back into your life. Piss trying to sting you again and you may think oh my god maybe this person has changed they're being so nice to me they're liking my pictures if you block you know but if you blocked them hopefully you did but in that's your choice no forcing but you know they, they there's you know you may be trying to think oh my goodness there's redemption jesus has really helped and hurt my prayer no he hasn't he ain't no he ain't forcing no change on people that don't want to be changed. That's a heart issue. It got to be in your heart. The person got to want to change. You can't force God to change somebody. It's free will out here. Free will. So, yeah. So, that that's the reason I tell you. They, they want to get you. And then once they come in, they're going to pretend they're nice. Everything is good. But in the back of their mind, they saying to themselves, you little son of a suck. I'm going to get you the nerve of you to leave me and punish me. You ain't nothing. You don't even love yourself. And they don't love themselves either. But they better than, usually they're better than their victims. They're showing that um, they don't love themselves. They're good at faking. But yeah, so they trying to destroy you for the one last time, okay? That's why they stick around for that revenge. Another thing, I, I'm going to tell you this. They will stalk you online. I, the thing is, and we all heard this in other videos, how they'll create fake accounts to get at you. And be careful, too, about who you entertain in your DMs. Because some of these is these narcissists and they're flying monkeys playing around, screenshotting so they can go take it and tell people, oh my God, look at what she did. She thirsty. Oh my God, she really crazy. Look at this, what they said here. And I'm telling you, be be careful of who you give information in your family and anybody who these narcs know because they will use these flying monkeys. 
I tell you, I um, you'll see in your DM somebody who you hardly ever talk to who know the flying monkey will pretend that they're commenting on something you say. They could have left it in the open where everybody see it, but all of a sudden they're in your DM, oh, how you doing? You can barely answer the question, how you doing, before they asking you about the narc. Oh, so how the narc doing? Now they know good and well you haven't talked to that narc in 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 years, and they asking you. And you know, even there, because I tell you, I did this before. I told somebody, oh, I don't know. I just, you know, speak about myself. That's it. Now, if this person didn't already know what was going on, that should have been the end of it. But this is how I know the person's trying to play me because they're like, oh my God, I, I didn't mean to cause any harm. You know, I'm just asking. And I, and you know, I just stopped answering. Because then another time the person reached out and they're like, oh, hey, how you doing? I'm like, oh, I'm fine. And they're like, oh, how is the not? I'm like, mm -mm, I, I got it. I'm like twice. Uh, I'm, I'm done. So now that person say anything in a DM and it's like, no, because you already know that the flying monkey is there. It is poor flying monkey. Like some of them I feel sad for because I don't, the narcissist is so expert at lying that they've told this flying monkey all this horrible stuff about you and uh, the narcissist doesn't always show their true evil to everybody they know so this flying monkey may be a person who actually believes that this narcissist is a decent person believe in everything that this narcissist is telling them and so they're like coming to you like what's going on why are you treating this person this way are you okay are you a medicine and things like this but they really don't know but the issue i take with the um naive flying monkey and i say naive not in the mean way just naive meaning not knowing the truth of the narcissist is because first of all go raise your kids you don't the, i i don't get it why people feel that they gotta go and talk on behalf of some other grown person like why are you doing this to the uh, narc and they this and this and this is your parent or this is your ex or you share a kid with this person it's like go raise your kids and your kids probably stupid and i don't care and don't put nothing in my comments i said what i said and i'm standing on that their kids probably stupid go and raise your kids and get some hooked on phonics from the 90s and some old encyclopedias, whatever you need to get your kid to grade level, because many kids are not to grade level. So for somebody coming to me, talking to me about my business, I want to first find out is your kid stupid? Because chances are, if they're in certain school districts, they are. And it ain't the kid's fault. It's the educational system. But that's a whole different other video. But go raise your kids and get your kids to grade level and stop asking me what I, if, as a full functioning adult, what I'm doing and why I'm doing. So that's what I have to say to the naive narcissist. I mean, flying monkey. But <clears throat> to the one who, um, the other one, this person is just, I don't know what to say about this person. You can leave this down in the comments. I mean, they will, they could have grown up in the same household as you. If you were the scapegoat, they were the forgotten child or the um, golden child. And they could have seen how you've been treated, but they will never acknowledge the abuse that you've suffered and never acknowledge that you weren't treated like they were treated. And they will always be the ones to call you, text you, send you some DM. Oh, you're not doing this for the narcissist. Oh, shouldn't you forgive? And you know, they'll put even sometimes, you know, if it's not working with the guilt trip that they're trying to give you, they'll even try to um, come with other directions, you know, try to, you know, like um, Robert Greene says, one of the best ways to get power and control over somebody is to pose as a friend. So they'll reach out to you, try to have concern about the things you're into, give you all these nice compliments and things to try to wheel you in. And eventually they'll get to their true nature. It may take them a while because they've gotten a little bit smarter in their devious plans because some of them narcissists too or have traits of narcissism, meaning not a full narcissist, but they got a lot of um, symptoms of narcissism, I'll say. So, um, yeah, they, um, they want to try to exploit you and, uh, and that good relationship that they believe you two have. And they'll come and start talking on behalf of the narcissist 
telling you some of the lies, giving you some of the sob stories to make you feel bad for the narcissist, you know, but, and then you already know that you have to just be smart and be careful about what the things you reveal to this person. Cause this person is not your friend because chances are this person is still talking to the narcissist. This person may view the narcissist as their best friend their home girl, their homeboy, whatever it is. So no, whatever you're saying is um, being reported right back to that narcissist. Like, for instance, let's say if you do videos and you talk about the narcissist, know that people are going back, honey, and sharing your videos with the narcissist because I have my narcissist leave me something on my video talking about you mental. So they come back and lurk like that too because they want to see if the old the old me would have responded, I'm not mental, blah, blah, blah. No, don't say that about me. The new me deleted that because, honey, I'm the only one in the family that has the credentials to be able to diagnose mental illness. So I'm mental. Sweetie, you don't have the credentials. <laughs> only people that's qualified can make such a diagnosis. Anywho. So, yeah, so know that people will smile in your face and like your pictures and do IGs and all this kind of stuff, acting like they're for you. But, honey, they going behind your back telling a narcissist any little thing you can do. Some of these people have to be deleted themselves, but it is totally up to you on how you want to deal with that. But I tell you, when you leave these narcissistic relationships, most people still tied to them. These people are not your friends, so they're doing the lurking on the behalf of the narcissist. You block the narcissist, and they got the flying monkey like, hoo, hoo, hoo. what can I do? Boss, tell me what to do next. Do I stalk her? Do I pretend to be your friend? Hoo, hoo, hoo. What do I do next? Tell me what to do, because I ain't got enough brains of my own to think for myself. I'm doing your bid, and I'm here to serve narcissist because i ain't got much going on in my life and i'm just as pathetic and diabolical as you are so use me master that's what it seemed like to me so just be careful especially in in this season i just felt like i wanted to leave this video because these narcissists these flying monkeys honey they is lurking and they trying to get you back so they can punish you and beat you and they jealous because they see your videos they see you online they see you ain't killed yourself due to all the evil that they tried to do to you. They see you still soaring, baby. They want to come back online and see that you lost your job. They want to see you got the flu. They want to see you got COVID, honey. They want to see if you in jail. Um, they want to see if your business failed. They want to see if you fatter, if you're uglier, if you got older. According to their mind, honey, because they sitting there comparing themselves. You know, you, you could have grew up in the same household with these people and they still comparing themselves, honey, and they're crazy. And you think, and some of them, I tell you this because I've known a lot of religious folks. This is why I was talking about it. And some of them got the nerve to be religious and talking about they love God, but they rejoicing when you fail. Honey, I've seen this before. I told a religious narc, or she probably had traits, but she probably a full-on narcissist by now. But she was close to it at that point. Anywho. Oh, uh, I didn't do well on this English assignment. And, you know, my grammar wasn't the best. <laughs> you need help with that? Oh, is that is that God made? It is it, baby. They rejoice, honey, when you ain't doing well. That's what it is. So my last word of advice to you is: when that narcissist come around, the best way to win. You know, if they actually don't use the flying monkey and try to approach you directly, the best way to win is not to be the same person you used to be. That person that was gullible, who believed anything, that was so quick to loan money to people, so quick to give money to people who ain't wouldn't give you no money if you needed it, who don't pay you back, so quick to give and help people that laugh when you're struggling. Don't be that person. So quick to be like, oh my God, how can I help? And what is this and this and this? And what are you going to need? And how are you going to handle this? Maybe you should do this and you should do X, Y, and Z. Because this will help and I want to help you. Maybe I don't have the money, but I can tell you what to do. Do you need me to do any research, sweetie? Don't be that way. Just be very nonchalant. Mm, okay. Hope you fix that. Oh, how you how you plan to work that out? Oh, okay. All right. Well, thank you. Okay. I hope everything work out for you. Uh-huh. 
then they gonna come back again because they're gonna be like okay maybe i gotta um be a little nice to get this person to start bending over backwards and giving me everything i need i, I need them to be dumb i know they can't really be healed they come back with the schemes they were using 10 12 years ago when you last talked to them honey i'm you thinking like and i'm thinking you ain't got a new scheme, sweetie. You still using the same scheme you was using 5, 10, 3, 20 years ago. You ain't came up with another scheme. Honey, but the thing is, they ain't going to come up with no new scheme sometime. Because they still think you the same old person. Then because this person, they ain't grown mentally. They're stagnant. Still where they are. And they think you stagnant. They don't think that the God within you has leveled you up levels. They didn't believe when you said that you have been healed and now you got discernment and you can understand what's going on. They thought you was lying, honey. They ain't made no progress, so they still in the same way and they thought you were. But when they come around looking for you to be dumb and ignorant and stupid and unleveled up, if that's a word, prove them wrong, honey, and don't show up the way you showed up the last time you let that evil suck in your life. Have a good one.